National College team. That was the tactic. We bashed him, we crushed him, we trashed him. <laughs> You're up against Stinger Nets. What's the tactic? Try and flip him out of the arena. Yeah, as quickly as possible. Um, yeah. But they're saying they're impervious to flippers. It's the gold paint that's going to dazzle them, isn't it, really? Yeah, do you reckon? Memorise them. Yeah, mesmerise them. That's it. Right, come with me. Come and see how Stinger's feeling about the opposition. Excuse me, excuse me. Dear me, it's like a mother's meeting round here. <laughs> now, come here. Not meant to be gossiping and collecting autographs. <laughs> Tension's rising as we approach round two. We're ready. Yes? How do you feel about them over there? Them over there? It's only a flipper. What do you mean it's only a flipper? <laughs> they can't do a lot to us, the, the flippers. It, it bounces back. It, it just comes back for more, and we hope to get them with the tail. So you think you're completely impervious to flippering? Well, if we keep away from the edge. <laughs> We don't want to go out. He did. Over he did. The top. I think. Do you he... think they're hedging their bets? <laughs> I do. From Lopi and Way, General Carnage Two. Hi, we're Team Carnage. This is my son Nick. My other half, Sarah. Uh, this is General Carnage Two, our new robot. Uh, we've got a pneumatic flipper this year. Uh, we've got another ramp for self-writing. The robot's powered by two Sinclair C5s running on 24 volts. From Branston, Stinger. Hi, we're the Stinger team. I'm all right here. We have Carl Stinger and Kevin Scott, the team captain. I'm Tim Mann. This is Stinger. Inside each wheel, we have shoehorned motor, power electronics, and batteries. You know what it is, you know what it does, you know how it does it. And we're back for more of the same. Roboteers, stand by. Replace in the heat final, then. The ref bot checks our two competitors. General Carnage in the control booth. Dad Nigel, Mum Sarah, little Nick, ten years of age. Great reception for them. Stinger, Carl Skinner and Tim Mann there in the control booth. Bludgeoning device, watch for that. The house robot certainly will. Shunt, has a little bit of a problem not being able to self right Hasn't really been tested. And Sir Killalot can crush, can spear, can push. Just about anything. Three, two, one. Activate. Stinger spins, whirls, sometimes looks out of control. Made it through to the grand final in the last series. Dismissed in round one of the grand final by Chaos 2. And there you can see the spinning power. 81 kilos there, spinning madly. With the spike on the end of that great bludgeoner. Not causing any problems. And this has been a worry for Stinger in the past. And General Carnage looks patient and measured out there. The aggression is from Stinger. Should it eventually go to the judges? General Carnage has other ideas, has sharp teeth along either side of that front flipper, the three horns as well on top, neither side at the moment causing any great damage, and General Carnage very slow to progress. Can get up to 10 miles an hour, they tell me, by the next millennium it looks like. The Stinger on the attack again, slamming down. I'm worried about General Carnage here, they don't seem to be moving at all. The ref bot's worried as well, look. Staring behind General Carnage. Have they been immobilised? Has there been a transmission problem, a control problem? They're going to be counted down. Oh, how disappointing for Nigel Seeley, an agricultural engineer by trade. And Stinger will go through because General Carnage are counted out. Comes a kill a lot as the ref bot backs away and shunt to shunt to come down with a diamond edged axe, spearing there the armor of General Carnage once and twice. A slice is nice, dismissed in a trice. General Carnage, a kill a lot does rule, you're right. Well, hasn't caused too much carnage, let's be honest. Fought in Series 3 as well. Didn't go beyond the heat. And the team put forward Prometheus in an earlier war too. 
once again they've fallen short in a heat general carnage about to go down into the pit tail end to kill a lot poised and controlled Cease. that's the end of the general demoted to the ranks of the defeated a glutton for corporal punishment flipped and pitted Stinger they go through well you took a right good kick in there didn't you yeah we got bashed we got trashed we got crushed <laughs> well done how do you think it went? I mean, uh, what went we're wrong? We're doing all right, first. I don't know. I've got. A, I think ba battery terminal is going to come off or something because uh, we lost power to everything. So uh, you know, normally they're all in like separate circuits, and the old lot went out. So it's somewhat major from the battery leads come down like so. We've lost all power. And then you were beaten into we submission were, by Stinger. Absolutely, yes. Right. yes. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for General Carnage too. Well, you're ranked five. In the U little poet him, you know. <laughs> you rank five in the UK. Mm. That was fairly easy, wasn't it? Well, uh, anything can happen in that arena, and it usually does. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, only time will tell us how far we'll get. But we will go as far as we can to honour those that we've beaten. But yours is such a difficult robot to beat. I mean, you can't really do anything with it unless <laughs> you flip it out the arena. You're right, oh. yeah. I was, I was hoping that we'd, we'd bludgeon them to death. We don't know. Maybe something did drop off. But uh, we were looking forward to fighting them because it's a powerful robot and hard to beat. You know, there's a lot of armour on there. And uh, I think we'd have been struggling to, to sort of, you know, get through and damage it badly. You're regarded as one of the best robots in Britain. Mm. We're going to do our best. That's all we can do. But there's some tough competition out there. But hopefully we're going to be up there with them, yeah. Let's hope so too. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Stinger! So, old resilient Stinger through to the final of Heat C. General Carnage go by the wayside. S3 and Mousetrap next up. From Ancient Winnie, Mousetrap. Hi there, I'm Jason. This is my dad, Stan. We are Team Mousetrap. This is the Mousetrap. It's tough. We've got exceptionally powerful weapon running on unregulated carbon dioxide. It really does do the business. It's got an exceptionally sharp blade. This is heavy, it's very sharp, it's very dangerous. This is just going to really do the business. From Dunnisthorpe, S3. Hi, I'm Dave Barker, team captain of the One Law Associates. Ian Pritchard, Pete Allsop, S3. She runs with a 1,000 RPM disc, 17.5 inch diameter, and it's about 17 kilos. Roboteers, stand by. Refbot blinks. No wonder, because S3 was mightily impressive early on. Could be a star of the future for David Barker, Ian Pritchard and Pete Allsop. In the way, mousetrap, veterans, experienced. Stan and Jason launch break. We plenty of experience with circular lot. Hungry for more robot machinery to gobble up. And shunt. Huge pushing power. Three, two, one. Did it. For a place in the heat final against Stinger. S3, the hammerhead shark, as we called him earlier, with that vertically mounted spinning disc. Awesome, as it tries to grind into Mousetrap. And I think Jason Launchbury's tactics here are to stay out of trouble. Well, or try and snare S3, and they've done just that with the guillotine blade. And if that blade can cut off the radio aerial, then S3 would be immobilised. Who will give way first here? Can the blade of S3 sever the spring of the mousetrap? They're into the CPZ, which means Killalot can also come into the equation. The spring is holding fast. Will the bar go? Well, which robot is immobilised? Whose weapon there? The mousetrap has 
certainly been broken, but I wonder if the S3 blade has also been stopped from rotating. It has. Look at that. They are locked together in some ghastly dance of death on Robot Wars. Into the arena sidewalk. The blade has been stopped by the mousetrap, whose own weapon is no longer working. To and fro, shove and heave. Who's got the greater power? S300 kilos, mousetrap 95. Eventually they get away, or do they? You see there, the coil of the spring was trapped in S3.